it's old time music. Uh, we've done a lot of original things, though, and sometimes people don't think that qualifies you for strictly this or that, you know. But I've always believed that you could add your own dimension to anything that you did. And uh, writing a lot of instrumental tunes and songs has been something I've done over the years. I've also tried to do uh, a lot of traditional material, uh, not to do it like some old record that I might have heard of it, but I mean, I love the way that the tunes are on the old phonograph records, and really, you know, nobody does it quite like the old guys in the 20s and 30s and those old records that were made in warehouses and hotel rooms and things like that. But you can give something of yourself to it, you know, that uh, doesn't make it a direct copy of their performance. You know, you can put your own self or soul into it and try not to take away too far, but try to give it something that might bring it on across a little bit into today's world without uh, sacrificing the uh, real heart and soul of it. I remember the other day there was a fella who was like real surprised to hear you playing oh a fiddle tune we recorded once. It's like you guys mean you sit around and play your own music when you're off? <laughs> and it was a strange comment to me because it, you know, our music the way we play it helps me define my reality and uh since it is my reality or a reflection of a part of it, why then you know sure why not play it? My dear old southern home. My dear old southern home I was happy as I could be Where the mockingbirds sang And I was at rest In that little old log cabin by the sea Oh, my mother and dear old dad When I left, I know it made them sad But now I'm going back to that little old log shack Where I spent my happy day happy as I could be where the mocking birds sang and I was at rest in that little old log cabin by the sea
Sometimes we get asked about the uh, instruments that we play, and I'd like to tell you about Nancy's guitar first. She's holding a uh, 19 and 29 0045 Martin guitar. And these are what you call slot head guitars, the open tuning mechanism up here. And they have the old fashioned bar frets, or they're really like zither frets, but they're known as bar frets. And if you want to point that thing around here on mine, this is a 19 and 34 14 fret D28 Martin guitar that has bar frets and has the standard uh, solid peg head on it. Well, the reason that it's uh, so beat up, uh, so the story goes, I got it uh, from an old gentleman down in Birmingham, Alabama, was an l &N railroad conductor, and he said he was about the second owner of it, and that uh, he said that the guitar was in good shape when he got it from the other guy, and he said that he loaned it out for what was supposed to be a weekend one time, and he says, I didn't see my guitar again for two years. And he says it come back, that's what it looked like. That's a lost weekend. I guess it was. Yeah. Well, howdy, folks. We're Norman and Nancy Blake. We'd like to try to play you an old fiddling Doc Roberts tune now. Doc Roberts recorded for the Jeanette Record Company in Richmond, Indiana. Here's one of his tunes that we'd uh, like to do called New Money. <laughs> This is one of the old-time rails.